now here's how you can decrease a photo size on the iPhone. Well, there are two things which come to my mind, which you may want to do. So when you open up the photos app and locate any sort of photo, in case you want to decrease the size, there is a possibility that you just want to crop it, but also that you likely want to reduce the actual file size. So I'm going to get to everything. If you want to just crop it, click on edit and you will get to the crop button and you can technically make the image smaller in that sense. So if that's something what you want to do, just hit done and you're good to go. However, when you swipe up on the image, you can check out how large the image actually is. So it's like 900 kilobytes, but you know, there might be much larger files in here, right? So this might be 4.1 megabyte and perhaps you want to lower it down. Perhaps you have an upload limit or something. In this case, what you got to do is to make sure you have a photo compressing app downloaded on your device. So in the app store, literally look up photo compress. And there are naturally going to be like many options which you can go with. Uh, personally, when I was making video about the, you know, decreasing the size of the video, I was talking about a similar app for videos and from the same developer, I like to use this one, which compresses photos and pictures. So make sure, make sure to get this app or any other one, which gets the job done. But essentially the way that it works is that you're going to import the photos from your gallery. And we were talking about this photo, which is, yeah, the one, which is 4.1 megabytes. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to click on the next. And what I can do right now is to either change the dimensions or play around with the photo quality slider, right? So I can just perhaps I want to make the uh, pixels go down, but I want to keep the quality the best or I'm going to just, you know, make the quality acceptable and just save it like in here or whatever. Choose whatever works for you, but just just click on compress if you are on a free version, you're likely going to get an ad, but you know, it's pretty okay. So you can just skip it. And now you get a finished video or I mean, finished photo, which is now 84 kilobytes from the previous 4.1 megabytes. So we quite literally saved about like 90% of the size, which is, you know, pretty good. So yeah, now it is automatically saved in the gallery. So right now we have the very same image with uh, 85 kilobytes, right? So pretty good. I'm happy with that. So if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.